Welcome to group two, you guys. I'm Ted, and this is Plyometric Bootcamp group two. So we're gonna start off with a wall squat. So I'm gonna move my little chair out of the way here, and, mm, and we're going to the wall to do a wall squat for three minutes. I got my timer, and notice I got some stucco wall behind me. <laughs> so we go three minutes. So get yourself to a wall, counting now. So the idea is to get your feet about shoulder distance-ish and sit and enjoy the pain. So if you can get through one minute of this, you're doing great. If you can get through more than one minute, I might not even get through three minutes of this, we'll see. Whew. Luckily I got a little rest. <laughs> I got a little shoulder rest. I'm gonna have to entertain myself during this whole thing. Whew. 30 seconds so far. Oh, that times six? No problem, no problem. So remember the mind is always the, the hardest part. We're way stronger than we think we are and I'm sure hoping that right now because my legs are a little sore. I had a long weekend of running and I'm not fully recovered yet, but we had some time to film this routine, so here we are. So I'm shaking already and I'm a minute in. So if, if, if you're newer at this and you get yourself to a minute and you need to straighten the legs, then definitely do that. Um, and again, I've been doing it for a little while, so I'm used to three minutes. It's still hard, it's not easy. Especially with this wall in the back. I wish I had a nice cushy wall. Where's my nice cushy wall? Um, but if you only have a wall like I have here in my lovely little courtyard, then you can put a towel behind you if you needed to. I wouldn't recommend doing a pillow, but I have seen people do a, a, an exercise ball, which actually gives you a little bit of play, which forces your abdomen and your core to, to work a little bit harder. So my legs have finally warmed up a little bit, so I feel like I'm pretty good. I'll be able to last. I have almost another minute. I'm approaching two minutes in three, two, one, that's two minutes. We got one more minute. Bear with us. Three minutes. Doing the best you can. If you need to straighten the legs, you straighten the legs and come down. Right? Remember, you're stronger than you think you are. Becomes a little bit of a head game. Becomes a little bit of a meditation. Just make sure you're not holding tension. And breathing. It makes the next few exercises just as hard. <laughs> if not harder. We are officially two and a half minutes in, and you notice if, I don't know, maybe you did, I lean to one side sometimes, and I lean to the other side sometimes, and that just takes a little bit of pressure off the opposite leg, so if I'm, if I'm leaning to my right, it takes a little pressure off the left and vice versa, and that just helps sometimes to give a little break. I got 10 more seconds to go. <sighs> Breathe, five, four, three, two, one, three minutes. Ooh, yeah. So push away from the wall, shake out the legs. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow, you guys. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna put my little chair back. And then we're going to next round. So next exercise in group two, lunges. So give yourself 30 seconds to rest. Even if you need a little bit more, that can be very, Intense. We're doing lunges, lunge hops, you can call them. You can call them whatever you want. But essentially, you're, hot, you're lifting up and hopping, just demonstrate. One, two, like that, right? So we do a total of 30. And so, as I lift my, up, my body up, my arms go up, I switch legs in midair. As I come down, my arms go down. So again, before I keep stalling any longer, 30 up to 30 times and you can do them slower if you're newer or you have some injuries and stuff but eventually they're hops ready set go one two three nice long five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
30. Whew. Shake out the legs. Good. So 30 of those typically is enough. If you're feeling like Superman, feel free to go do 50 of them. But ultimately you want to build up to these numbers we're doing. And again, it's, I don't know, six, seven years, maybe eight years of this stuff. And I'm still like it's kind of a hill, essentially. I look at it as a hill. It never gets easy. It gets a little easier, but even still, if I skip a week doing this, I still get sore. It just, it kills you. So, thank you, Tony Horton. <laughs> All right, our next one is called Groucho Walk, which we're gonna simply do two steps forward, two steps back. You'll get the idea. Think about, it's not necessarily a kick, it looks like this. Squatting down, looking forward, and then leg up, and then down, leg up. Right, so you're not kicking necessarily, but we're gonna take a step forward, two steps forward, step back, two steps back. So we're gonna do two forward and two back, but it's not a kick, it's think about, if you had an exercise ball, you'd be lifting your leg up and over the exercise ball. So that's kind of what we wanna do. Ready? And squat, we're doing 30. One forward, two forward, three, four, five, six. Notice I'm looking up to keep the spine straight. It's eight, nine, but down, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more. One, two, three. If you start to get fatigued and you start reaching, five, six, then you slow down, don't go down to the floor. Eight, last two right here. Nine, and 10. <gasps> All right. Good work. Shake out the legs. That's 30. One more leg. So remember, each group has four legs, two arms, two abs. Okay? So our next one I'm going to demonstrate when we take our little breather, but it's run, stand, squat, switch. That's what they call it. I don't know why. It doesn't matter. So abdomen really strong. Think about lifting from your abs because this, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. But notice, as I come down, my, my heart is up, my spine is straight, my butt is down, and if I touch the floor, great. But if I don't touch the floor, great. It doesn't matter necessarily. You don't wanna reach, right? This just means you're fatigued, you're putting way too much strain on the back, and that's what causes injuries. The other thing with this particular exercise, sometimes when people get fatigued, they lunge like this. Well, if you lunge that direction, you can see how it's kind of tweaking my knees. Or if I lunge back, and then this here happens, you're tweaking the knee, you're putting pressure on this knee here, and this knee here, and you don't, so the knee is a hinge joint. Essentially, it's only supposed to go forward and back. So do the best you can. I mean, it moves a little bit that way, but you don't want to move it a lot that way. That's how you tear. ACL, MCL, all that sort of stuff. So when you jump, you want to land and come down. Jump, land and come down. There may be a little bit, but you want to let you, that's why you want to come from your abdomen. All right, so enough talking. 40 times, up to 40 times. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looking forward the whole time. It's 10. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, halfway, 2, 25, 6, 7, 8, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 39, and 5. 40. Ah, nice work. 
Good, so that's your four legs on the second set. It is not easy, you guys, it is not easy. But that's the idea. So now we go right down to the arms. Our arm exercises, abs. After that, two and two each. First arm exercise is going to be your side arm balance push-ups. So again, six to uh, 12. So three to six on each side. So I'm gonna do six on each side. As many as you can up until there. So you're gonna do a push-up. Left arm up, one. Push up, one. That's two, two, three, three, which is six total. I'll count them individually, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12. So you can go back to down dog here for a moment and you can stretch the legs. It's nice in between your push-ups to get a little bit of a leg stretch on one side, few breaths, little leg stretch on the other side, few breaths. Good, now we're gonna do one-legged push-ups. So you're coming back to regular push-up, wider hands. I'm gonna take right leg up and do Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch legs right away and go. One, strong back leg. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Good. Right onto the knees, cross the legs, and uh, onto the back. So now we do side crunches. Here, side crunches are, uh, you're gonna roll to one side onto your butt cheek, so it's like a 45 degree roll. So you're not completely on the hip, you're basically on the butt cheek. Bottom arm is straight down, top arm is behind, and then you crunch, one, two, like that. Three, four, five, six, you can keep the legs straight. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 more. One, two, you could alternate three, four, five, good. Uh, other side, I'm just gonna move this little thing for a second, but I want you to still hear me. Uh, it's hard, you guys. It's hard. But we're doing the other side. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, three, four, twenty. One, Two, three, four, and five, because I skipped that one. So that's 25. I think that was 25. But that was groups of five. So you can alternate, you can do groups of five, you can do them all the same. Start off with bending the legs for sure. And here goes the last ab exercise in the final, in this second group, group two. So now, sitting on the hands just a little bit, you're gonna hop the feet up. So these are basically leg hops. So you're just hopping up and down. That's one. You wanna control the descent. So two, three, four, five. Don't strain on the neck. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, <coughs> 12, excuse me, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good. There you go. That is group two. Well done, you guys. So, again, 
You can use these as individual pockets. You can do group two two times or three times. There's your 30 minute, 45 minute exercise. Or you can string together group one, group two, group three, four, and five. Thanks. See you in group three.